Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been away, but I am back with my sweet potato pie recipe. Let's go through the ingredients. Starting over at the left, we've got our butter, our sugar, we're gonna put a little flour in it, evaporated milk, vanilla extract, sweet potatoes, of course, eggs, honey, brown sugar, bourbon, and our spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, mace, and then of course, a little bit of salt. All right, let's get started. We're going to peel our potatoes. Now these are boiled sweet potatoes, and I boiled them for about 40, 45 minutes. It really depends on the size of the sweet potato. And we're just going to take off the skins and remove any eyes that are on the potatoes. And the eyes on the potatoes are their little, they look like little eyes. They're little dark specks on the sweet potatoes. You don't see them too often, but when you do see them, you pull them out and they usually have some strings attached to them. We don't wanna put that in our sweet potato pie. Now let's get started with mashing up our sweet potatoes. No, I don't use a potato masher. I just use my hands. Now we've mashed our potatoes and this is a blender sweet potato pie. It gives you a smooth, sweet, dense, delicious pie. And we're gonna start by putting about a third of our sweet potato pulp into the blender. Then we're going to add our evaporated milk. We're adding our sugar, our brown sugar, our eggs, and we're going to put the lid on the blender and we are going to blend this sweet potato mixture. Now, if you'd like to use a food processor or just a egg beater, you know, electric egg beater, that's fine. I love this uh, technique using this, um, this blender. And you'll see I added some more evaporated milk. I'm doing this in portions, a little bit at a time, because I want a very smooth mixture. And you can see how smooth it is. Now, I know this seems a little unconventional, but it's all going to come together in the end. And so we're gonna take this mixture, see how smooth and beautiful that is? It's gonna make an amazing sweet potato pie. Now we're going to do the blender technique uh, another couple times, twice more and with the uh, sweet potato pulp and the remaining ingredients and we're going to blend until smooth. Now we're going to pour out the um, remaining, some more of the, uh, of the sweet potato filling and you'll see that brown there is brown sugar. I had a little left. Uh, and I'm going to incorporate that into the sweet potato batter. And remember, as you are making this pie, you do want to from time to time taste it. You want to make sure that it is sweet enough and it has the appropriate spices. Um, and this is one of those things where you can add more spice if you like. And I'm taking my whisk and I'm whisking all of this batter together. And remember, this is an un, not a traditional sweet potato pie. I put bourbon in my sweet potato pie. And if you've never tried that, you might want to. You don't have to, it is optional. Now I'm going to taste it to see if it's sweet enough. And it's not, so I'm going to add another two or three tablespoons of sugar. and a little bit of salt. 
which was already added, but we needed a little bit more. Now I'm going to taste one more time and that should do it. Well, it's ready to be placed into the pie shell. And the pie shells that I use are nine inch deep dish pie shells. And I take my handy cup and this is a wonderful way to, to measure how much goes in each uh, pie shell especially if you have someone during the holidays helping you bake. You can say maybe three to four cups goes into this pie shell. Now it is finished. Oh, a little bit more. Yeah, so we bring it just to the edge. Now you don't want to overfill this pie. And this will make an absolutely beautiful pie. Don't worry about the, the ripples in the center. You see how I can take a spoon and smooth it right out. When it bakes up, it's going to be absolutely beautiful and delicious. Well, here they are. This recipe makes two nine inch deep dish sweet potato pies. If you have a little bit of uh, batter left, you can always put it in a baking uh, Pyrex and have a little bonus uh, for the baker. But you can see how beautiful and golden it is and equally delicious. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like us, tell all your friends, and we'll be back real soon with some more delicious recipes from Cooking with Danae.